Hey, welcome to another video. Nice you're here. So this time I'm going to make a simple bow out of this hazelnut branch. I cut off in May 2016, so just a few months ago. And so now I let it dry and I forgot about it. And the first thing I'm going to do to make the simple bow is actually draw the basic shape on this branch. So I already cut it in half and this happened a few months ago to improve the drying. And I will do most work on this using a draw knife and I forged one myself and you can see it exactly now. Oh, you have to wait a bit, bit off sync at the moment. But I did just draw my knife myself and I forged it. But unfortunately, this was before my YouTube time. So here you can see the lines and the basic shape I drew. So the draw knife, the advantage of the draw knife is that you don't destroy a single fiber. Instead, you're just cutting off whole fibers and don't rub up the fibers. So the wood keeps its fiber strength. And it's very easy actually to cut off wood using a draw knife, but you can use any other knife as well. Or you can use just a large knife as a draw knife. So you put your hands left on the blade and draw it on the grip and then use a large knife as a draw knife. Possible as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm bringing the sides into shape. And this is actually the longest part because I have to remove a lot of wood. So here you can see it afterward. I smoothed everything out and I used the saw to get through very tough little points where a draw knife got stuck. So the next thing to do is to make the front plane and the front will be the side of the bow which will, if it's finished, point at you. And it has to be as flat as possible. I'm going to use the draw knife again. It's just very, very simple. So there are different ways and different types of bows. This is actually the simplest bow because it's made out of a piece of wood. And it's not a composite bow which is made out of wood and... I don't know what they use, but they use some kind of glue that is made from animals. And a compound bow which is carbon or something like this. Now I'm actually trying to get the half of the bow. and. Then I go 10 centimeters to the left and 10 centimeters to the right. And that will be the later position of the grip or the handle. So where you hold the bow while you're shooting. So these compound bows are the bows with the wheels at the end. And they are much better than this type of bow. So then there are recurved bows. They bend in the opposite direction, they have more power. So this is really the worst and most basic type of bow, but you can do it in half an hour. So it's really no great work. And I try to keep it as simple as possible. So you can do this even if you're in the forest and you have only a knife with you. But it's a bit more work if you don't have a wise and a draw knife and other basic tools around. So the next thing that has to be worked out is actually the back section. And there are loads of wood and you can't bend the bow at this current state. So I have to remove all this wood. And now you can see that the handle is already noticeable. And the arms of the bow are noticeable as well. So the bow is pretty squared at the moment. So obviously the next step will be removing the hard edges and giving it a round back. So the back is that will 
face into the direction you shoot and not in your direction. It has to be round in order not to shatter while you're pulling out the bubble string so that the force is equal at each point. I again use a draw knife and there it goes. It was actually super fast and until the current construction state I only needed about 20 minutes. And the only thing it does is making a great mess. But if you want to go on survival trips you can really keep these little wood chips that you cut off because they are extremely flammable, especially if the wood is dry. Now you see everything is looking actually more like a bow. I rounded it up and there you see the wood did split but that was not to my working. It was already split but I didn't notice so I had to trim off the ends using a saw. Because if this split or this rim will progress, I will have some problems. And here I'm using a file to carve little holes into the end of the bow where you can insert the string later. And they don't have to be very deep or very good because I use a very very simple method keep the string in place and I'll show you later. Once this is done for both sides, left and right, we can go to the string next. So the string is basically some plastic nylon string, I don't know exact combination of materials, but it's pretty tough and I made simply a double knot to create one of the sling hanged it into the hole I carved with the file. Then I take the string and look that I make a second sling that is a bit below the end of the bow and the hole on the other side. So if you're going to put the string over, there's already some tension in it. I have to say here, I tried it, I didn't succeed, so there was no tension at all in the string at the end. But this is not absolutely necessary, so the bow works fine without tension in the string. I think it's just nice to have this tension, then you don't have to pull the bow that far, but the bow is so small, it's just one meter in length, so you can easily pull it out. And this is no problem. But at least I tried it and if you do larger bows it might be worth to look that the string is tight. So finally I use a big shrink tube and I'm simply pushing it over the end and use my heat gun to shrink it together and it will fix the string in the hole and the string will never come out of this again. So this will lock up your bowstring actually completely and this bow will be sealed forever. So I already made a few bows this method and none of the string came out yet. So in almost all cases the bow did break before the string came out. So the same is repeated for the other side. And here you're going to see the final product. See the string is a bit loose, but you can still get a lot of tension onto it and the bow looks pretty nice for half an hour of work. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.